What if it were the case that humanity and all its AC generator systems was only using 60% of the potential of an AC generator? What if it were possible to increase the power output from an AC generator by up to 40%? Now, I don't know if you know how a car engine works, but only getting pressure from the downstroke off of the expansion of the gasification of liquid fuel and then working off of that in the crankshaft is only yielding partial power from the stroke on the pistons connected to the crankshaft. What if analogously you're able to take the down pressure and actually use that to throw the armature, to throw the pistons and get higher output. Well, we have that in various uh, uh, engines, uh, both jet engines and uh, there's some new rotary engines. Actually, uh, a guy I know created a, a new type of rotary engine that he sold to Mazda. I haven't seen him for nine years, but I'm talking about something that I came up with and a buddy of mine is going to be making who's an expert in motor windings and it's a pressure differential stator that actually takes advantage of the fact that on each quote-unquote pole of every magnet we have a centrifugal divergent field and a centripetal convergent field and by applying small current alternating current to the centripetal point we can actually increase power by up to forty percent merely throwing the armature around is only taking advantage of the centrifugal or what quote-unquote one pole here I'm gonna actually show you a model mock-up of a pressure differential stator low alternating current applied to the centripetal point of the magnet in the field is basically like taking advantage of the downstroke from the piston attached to the crankshaft so that you're able to get higher output of power. How important is that? Now I've shown in many many videos, most famously the video on the compass and the giant monster magnet, that regardless of the fact that a gauss meter will show you the exact same gaussian flux at the center of a magnet as it will along the centrifugal edge, just like on this magnet, it'll actually register the same in the center as it does on the edge and an intermediate zone in the center. Any Gauss meter on Earth will show you this fact. It's undeniable. But what a Gauss meter can't tell you is the qualitative difference between centrifugal magnetism and centripetal magnetism. Analogously, this is like measuring the flow of water as it's coming out of the faucet and then measuring the flow of water as it's passing down the drain. Now I could say that both have the same value if they both have the same flow rate, but the two are absolutely qualitatively different. What if, in the case of the magnets, which is the case, unlike the drain, by actually taking advantage and applying a small, small voltage alternating current to the drain, we are actually able to change the nature of the flow of the centrifugal and any intermediate armature between the two, between the drain and the faucet analogously, in this case the talking about the AC generator, we're actually able to boost power output by up to 40%. Well, that's enormous. I know one thing for absolute certainty, without a with absolute 100% undeniability, and that is that it is undeniable that humanity in all its AC generators and all its electrical systems that use magnetism that we're only taking advantage of one pole at a time of any magnet. But each and every magnet, magnetic system, whether that be a electromagnet or specifically a permanent magnet, we have four pressure zones. We actually have more than that, but ultimately it's irreducible to four. Centrifugal, uh, south pole, centripetal south pole, centrifugal north pole, and centripetal north pole. We literally have the faucet on the edge, and we have the drain in the middle on every quote-unquote side or pole of every magnet. 
and only by utilizing one half of that in the case of the armature and the stator and of AC generator systems we have insufficient inefficient power generation so pressure differential stator alternating current applied at the point of centripetal convergence applied such that at the stroke of the armature we have increased motion and higher efficiency relative to input from current AC generator systems so this is the future of power generation well I'm not talking about different forms of power generation obviously there are many of those on the horizon but with current AC generator systems be it from nuclear uh, hydroelectric uh, wind inefficiency reigns supreme right now and we can remove up to forty percent of that inefficiency by applying knowledge of magnetism to the stator to the armature and using analogously the downstroke of the piston attached to the crankshaft as a pressure boost as a kick to increase efficiency greatly and when it comes to AC generator systems when you're talking about 40 percent increase in efficiency with the exact same amount of mechanical input that is enormous so there'll be a dawn a new horizon of uh, electrical generation that'll be far 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 more efficient than uh, our fathers and forefathers and even Nikola Tesla dreamed of so there's always something bright on the future to look to in the midst of misery and ignorance so and uh, I've proven amply that we are only harvesting two poles in all magnetic systems but what we're not harvesting is the bipolar pressure differential that exists on either quote-unquote pole of every magnetic system and that is inefficiency and by eliminating that inefficiency we will have a lot more power generation with the exact same amount of input and uh, that's uh, really good news thanks for watching Lux Everitas